Now for Eno's latest report on the Northwest people keeping traditional crafts alive. She's been to meet Olive Su, who came to study in Lancaster from China four years ago. And that picture gives you a clue. Olive's father is a renowned Chinese artist and she, now she is following in his footsteps. Uh, since settling in Lancaster, she's found the family tradition of Chinese painting has helped her overcome feelings of homesickness. Olive won her first national competition in China when she was only three years old. And it obviously runs in her family because she's the daughter of celebrated Chinese artist Su Song Chong. I feel very proud of him and uh, I feel very lucky to have um, a dad which um, is very talented and also very patient for me. And after four years in Lancashire, she's obviously missing home and missing her dad. When I'm painting, I feel uh, have this warm feeling. It reminds me of the good time when I'm spending in my father's studio. We paint together and it's cure my homesickness. What's inspired you so far since you've been in Lancashire? The Lake District uh, and also now the springtime, the flowers. I find the nature of uh, Britain, especially Northwest, is really beautiful. There are two main techniques in Chinese painting, the court style and the freehand. Olive prefers the latter. The freehand style is uh, in Chinese called xie yi. It's, if you translate it directly, called writing the detail or writing the attention. So it's actually using the way to write in calligraphy to draw in painting. Even though she's been doing this since she was three, surprisingly, Olive still thinks she's got a long way to go. Mm, I think learning is a long, life learning process, so you will always learning, even if you're very old. And I hope I'm a, a very good artist. It's probably too early to say. Eno Aero Tour, BBC Northwest tonight, Lancaster. Oh, beautiful, very peaceful.